What's up guys, it's me Anmurev again with a brand new video. So guys, I hope you're all staying in your homes right now during this quarantine and keep staying healthy fam. Okay, so for today's video, I will be going through 20 facts about One Piece that you might not know. But before that, please subscribe to my channel and smash that button and be sure to like my FB page there below and follow me on Instagram as well. Okay, before we start, the facts 20 to 15 are much weirder facts, just so you know. Okay, so let's hop into the video. Number 20, the case of the band exhibit. Okay, so the rising sun symbol, which is a common symbol all over Japan, is considered offensive in South Korea. This is due to the fact that Japan annexed the country and committed atrocities there at the start of the 1900s. The image of the rising sun is commonly censored in Korea. A One Piece exhibit was cancelled in South Korea only three days before it was due to run. This was due to the numerous complaints about how the One Piece manga frequently features the rising sun symbol, which usually appears in relation to the nation of Wano that is heavily based on ancient Japan. Number 19 working himself to death. Producing a weekly manga is one of the most damaging careers when it comes to the health of an author. These people undergo one of the most ruthless schedules of any industry in order to entertain their fans. Their whole life revolves around planning, writing, and producing manga. Ichiro Oda is no exception to this. He works 7 days a week and only gets 3 hours of sleep at night. And you would think that the richest mangaka would hire an army of assistants to do work for him, but Oda isn't like that. He draws most of One Piece himself. It seems that Oda may finally be backing off this murderous schedule as fans have noticed that, o that One Piece has recently been on a break for at least one week of every month. So it seems that Oda might be trying to take care of himself and spend more time with his family. Big respect. Number 18. Jolly Roger When people think of pirates, they generally imagine Treasure Island, which has been used off for a long time. We still think of pirates as a relic of a forgotten age. This is partly due to the fact that ships are a lot rarer now. Pirates are still very much a real thing. They exist in the South China Sea and off the coast of Somalia, as well as other parts of the world. It seems that some Somali pirates have internet access as a video exists of a ship bearing the Jolly Roger of Shanks from One Piece. They actually used one of the Yonkos Jolly Roger. They better watch their ass. Number 17. Toriko there are likely a lot of you out there who are familiar and love Storico. It ran in weekly Shonen Jump magazine and is one of the few series to have officially crossed over with One Piece and Dragon Ball Z. You may not be aware that the creator of Toriko, Mitsutoshi Shimabukuro, was working on a different series in the early 2000s. It was cancelled before it could be finished because Shimabukuro was arrested and convicted of paying 16-year-old girls for services. Despite his crime, he was still allowed to return to Weekly Shonen Jump and collaborated in several Toriko One Piece crossovers in recent years. Number 16. The Only People Who Know It'll End Oda has always maintained that he has a story of One Piece planned out. It's hard to refuse this considering how many plot elements are hinted or e even decades before they become relevant. There was at least one One Piece fan who knew the ending of the series. Hinati Fujinami was a kid from Japan who was dying from cancer. The Make-A-Wish Foundation helped to fulfill Hinati's final request, which was to learn how One Piece ended. Oda then visited the child personally and revealed the ending to One Piece in private. Number 15. Book of World Records Beginning back in 1997, each manga volume takes viewers on a new epic adventure with a Straw Hat crew. Employing epic battles, rich character development, and ever-changing locations, Oda has created an addictive series for fans all around the world. In fact, the manga has been so successful that it has become the best-selling manga of all time. The Guinness Book of World Records recognized Oda for the most copies published for the same comic book by a single author in 2014. At the same time of the recognition, One Piece had sold 320 million copies between December 1997 to December 2014. To date, manga sales now exceed over 416 million copies worldwide. Number 14. 5 Years The journey of the Straw Hat Pirates has been Oda's life work. His commitment to creating most of the art himself has led to a very demanding schedule. According to Kotaku, Oda stated that, quote-unquote, 
Mornings, I get up at 5 a.m. and work until 2 a.m. It's normal for me to sleep from 2 to 5 a.m. He also does not take off for holidays or vacations. Once again, big respect. It's quite a change for Oda's initial plans for the manga. In the past, he had stated that the manga was going to conclude after 5 years in 2002. He even had the ending already planned out. However, as he continued to develop more characters, battles and adventures, the story has taken on a life of its own. Moreover, with Oda stating the current story was around maybe 70% completed back in 2015. So we have a little long way to go. Number 13. Job According to an interview in the One Piece Blue Grand Data File, Oda claimed to have wanted to become a manga artist at the age of 4 to avoid having to get a real job. That's what we call excellent life goals. <laughs> Sticking to his own dream, Oda developed his skills over the years and created various series in his late teens. His first series, Wanted, garnered several awards and placed second in the semi-annual Tezuka Award for Manga. Following his recognition, Oda landed his first job at the Weekly Shonen Jump. Number 12 Dragon Ball Growing up, Oda found inspiration in many of his childhood manga. Among his favorites was Vicky the Viking, a 1970s animated television series that piqued his interest in the pirate stories and in terms of manga, Oda was a big fan of Akira Toriyama and his work including Dr. Slump and Dragon Ball. Toriyama's Dragon Ball character Goku became an inspiration for Oda. Since debuting One Piece in 1997, Oda became good friends with Toriyama and even had collabs. The 2007 manga Cross Epoch became the first crossover for One Piece and portrayed the characters from its world with the DB universe. Number 11. The series originated from two one-shot stories. As Oda continued to work at Shonen Jump, he began to further his skills as a manga artist. He worked as an assistant on Suizen Police Gang, Jungle King Tarchan, and Mizu no Tomodachi Kapaman. He was also noted as a big influence while working on Runori Kenshin with artist Noborihiro Watsuki. After working on such noted projects, Oda finally created the Romance Dawn one-shot story series, a storyline that Oda originally worked on in junior high school. The 1996 series depicted the character Monkey D. Luffy as the lead, with his signature straw hat. When Oda fully developed and published One Piece in 1997, he kept the name Romance Dawn an homage to the story's roots. It also served as the title for the first chapter of the series and the first manga volume. Number 10. Character Designs As with the developing story, certain plot elements and character changes took place. In the case of One Piece, several characters are drawn in styles that greatly contrast their final looks. For example, Chopper was originally drawn with more realistic reindeer face while carrying a sword. Comicbook.com reported that in an interview with Shonen Jump, Oda revealed, quote unquote, if I designed him as I initially planned, he would be covered by other characters. People couldn't see his uniqueness, so eventually I made him smaller and cuter. Nami was actually more mechanized with a huge battle axe, and Zoro used to be a bodyguard for the buggy pirates. Number 9 Naruto Conflicts After the release of Romance Dawn, Oda worked to fully develop the adventures of Monkey D. Luffy and his crew. While he did retain some elements of the original story, he also added and developed new characters. One character was the cook Blackleg Sanji. Well, that is what he was named. When he was created, Sanji was actually called Naruto. However, Oda's rival, Naruto creator Masashi Kishimoto, had just developed his series of the same name and published it in 1997. Oda then decided to change his character's name to avoid confusion. Even with their alleged rivalry, the two great artists respected one another. When Kishimoto published his final Naruto volume, he included the straw hat symbol on Naruto's headband and Hokage Rock in Chapter 700 artwork. As a response and final goodbye, Oda added tons of Naruto references in the cover of Chapter 766 of One Piece. Number 8. Classic Literary Inspirations Oda found inspiration in classic literature from around the world. The design for the marine prison Impel Down mirrors the nine circles of hell depicted in Dante Alhequiris' 14th century poem Divine Comedy. 
Both structures depict varying degrees of torture and punishment based on the severity of the crimes of its prisoners. The villain, Don Quixote do Flamingo, has connections to the indigenous nobleman Mr. Quixote of La Mancha by Spanish writer Miguel de Cervantes Avedra. Ode has also taken inspiration from Greek mythology with his inclusion of Amazons and the Gorgon sisters. Also, Luffy's brother Sabo wore the signature top hat and rolled up jacket of the Artful Dodger from Charles Dickens classic Oliver Twist. Number 7 Historical Pirate References The story of One Piece began with the execution of the pirate Goldie Roger who on the day of execution challenged anyone to try to discover the treasure One Piece. This declaration and execution were based on French pirate Oliver Levasseur. In a final gesture, he tossed his cryptogram necklace into the crowd and advised that the one who solved it would have his treasure. Others include Edward Teach aka Blackbeard. The Blackbeard character is Marshall D. Teach and his rival Whitebeard is Edward Newgate and Bartholomew Roberts as Bartholomew Kuma. The notable female pirates are Alvida, a 15th century pirate named Alvida, and Jewelry Bonnie as Irish pirate Anne Bonnie. Number 6 Pop Culture Connections Oda was also inspired by pop culture as well. One of the most easily recognized homages in One Piece can be found in the character Emporio Ivankov, as his looks and mannerisms are a direct reflection of Tim Curry's Dr. Frankenfurter character from the cult classic Rocky Horror Picture Show. Oda has listed Tim Burton and Quentin Tarantino among his favorite directors and The Nightmare Before Christmas as one of his favorite movies. The creepier aspects of both Burton and his work can be seen in the thriller Bark arc. In addition, the use of zombies and thriller in the title more than likely connect to Michael Jackson's video, Thriller. Number 5. Easter Eggs Oda is notorious for hiding Easter eggs throughout the One Piece manga, with many of these references popping up in the anime as well. One of his most well-recognized hidden gems is his placement of Panda Man throughout the story. Oda originally created characters when he was a teenager and submitted his design to the Yuta de Magos wrestling manga Kinikuman. Fortunately, the character was so selected and used in the manga. Since then, Oda has been slipping the character into the pages of his manga. Other easter eggs include Panda Woman, the Tomato Gang, and the Unforgivable Mask. He also included fictional brands that he has created including Criminal, Doskoi Panda, and Cyber Panda. Number 4. Real Life Character Memorials One Piece is filled with heartbreaking moments and deaths throughout the series. Two of the worst moments for fans occurred during the Marineford arc when beloved characters Whitebeard and Ace died during Ace's rescue mission. Their deaths sent ripples throughout the world of One Piece and its fandom. In the manga and anime, the father and son pirates were buried next to each other with their grave decorated with their personal possessions. In 2013, Universal Studios Japan brought these iconic images to life for their annual One Piece premiere show. As part of this show, memorable scenes and locations are recreated in real life for fans to visit. These graves were exact replicas of the ones depicted in the story and included a listening area where they could hear the two characters speak some of their famous lines. Number 3. Armani Exchange Designed Outfits the characters of One Piece have been used as animated models for Armani Exchange. In 2009, they joined forces to promote the 10th movie of the franchise titled One Piece Film Strong World. Luffy became the first manga character to appear on the cover of the Japanese fashion magazine Men's Non No in its 24 years of publishing. This was also the first cover design Oda has done that was not for a manga. In the magazine, real models posed as the manga character, Synautical themed attires. The partnership returned in 2012 for the release of One Piece Film Z. This time, the characters wore outfits designed by Armani Exchange that were selected by Oda himself. To expand on the cross-promotion, these outfits were made available for purchase too. Number 2. Theme Parks, Exhibits, and Restaurants in Japan, you can visit the Universal Studio Japan's Universal Jump Summer event that will include attractions based on One Piece, Dragon Ball Z, Jojo's Bizarre Adventures, and Gintama. You could ride on the life-size version of The Thousand Sunny at Laguna Tenbosch One Piece area in Gamagori, Japan. 
and it also has the previously mentioned real-life memorials for Whitebeard and Ace. However, if One Piece is your sole focus, travel to Minato-ku, Tokyo, and visit the de dedicated indoor theme park, Tokyo One Piece Tower. The park contains sculptures, themed restaurants, and games for fans to enjoy. Number 1. 2020 Summer Olympics Okay, so because of the current happenings right now, we know the Olympics is cancelled. But this is still such a feat for the One Piece franchise, so I still included this here. Okay, so the Japan's Olympic Committee incorporated iconic characters from TV, anime, video games, and other aspects of entertainment. It's actually a nerd's dream come true. To further build on the global reach of anime, one of its most profitable exports, Tokyo announced that several anime characters would serve as the Olympic ambassadors. With its worldwide appeal and dedicated following, One Piece had to be included in this lineup. As reported by Anime New Network, the official ambassadors are Astro Boy, Sailor Moon, Shin-chan, Luffy, Naruto, Jibanyan, Goku, and Cure Miracle and Cure Magical. So that's it for today's video guys and I hope you learned something and enjoyed this video and if you like this, subscribe for more content like this and be sure to follow my Facebook page and Instagram page down there in the links below. So again, be safe guys and I hope you guys have a good day. Bye years.